Hi, this is Jay Jenkins of Pearson Education. In this video, I'm going to walk you through how you can download and install a test gen test bank file from the Pearson Instructor Resource Center and install it inside of test gen. So the first thing you want to do is navigate to the Instructor Resource Center for Pearson and if you don't know how to get there directly, um, you can just Google it and once you Google it, you'll see sign in to download instructor resources. We'll click on that. You'll use your um, login information from MyLab to sign in. So any of your um, MyLab information can be used to access the Instructor Research Center. You can then scroll down and navigate to a course area, a subject area that you'd like to um, grab the material from, or at the top you can use the search area. And so I'm going to go ahead and use the search area. So I search for cost accounting, and as we can see down here, um, here's my cost accounting um, text that I'm looking for. I'm going to click on that. As I scroll down, I'm going to look for resources. So download instructor resources, and I click on that. It brings me to the resources, and as I scroll down, I'm going to look for the test gen file. Now, this is if you already have test gen on your computer. If you don't, then you do need to go and download test gen first. But here's the um, test gen, test bank. Okay, so let's find it right down here. Test gen computerized test bank. This is what we want to look for. And then if I scroll down, you'll see that there's a couple different files here. There's the algo, the static for Blackboard, for Moodle, for Sakai, and so forth. I'm going to download the algorithmic first. I just click it, click accept and proceed. Then I'm going to download the static as well. It is important to know where your computer defaults to download files. So it typically is in your download file, but it could also be in your documents, or if you have a designated area that things download to, it may download to there. So just make sure you are aware of where your computer decides to download items so you can find them. Now what we want to do is we want to navigate to the test gen. So I'm going to go ahead and go open test gen. So now I'm going to go to my file explorer and I'm going to search for those downloaded files. The reason being is that they're downloaded as compressed files and what I want to do is um, uncompress them. So you'll see that they are a zip file. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to extract all and I'm going to extract them here. I could browse and extract them somewhere else. But I'm going to go ahead and just extract them here. There we go. That's perfect. And then I'm going to do the same thing to the other one, the algorithmic one. Extract all. Extract. Perfect. So now they're extracted. Now from here, I'm going to open up test gen. Once I open it up, I'm going to click File and Add Test Bank to Library. And then I'm going to go find those extracted test banks. So open those up. That's going to add that to my, there it is. And now I'm going to go grab the other one. And now I have those test banks opened and available, and I can start to build tests from them. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to your local Pearson representative. Thank you and have a good day.